How to ignore all errors in Excel. Excel has a setting that checks for errors whenever data is entered into a worksheet. While this can be useful in most cases, there are some cases where we don't want the error to be shown. So in this example, I have some cells where uh, Excel's error checking has thrown up some errors. We can uh, tell that it's an error by the small green triangle that appears in the corner of the cell. So here I have a few examples. Uh, these are numbers that have been entered as text. So Excel is warning. If you press the, if you click on the cell and click on the, uh, you know, the warning icon, this is the error. Number is stored as text. So uh, you have the option to ignore this error. If I say ignore, the green triangle disappears. So there may be a case where you want the number. For example, if it is a pin code, uh, you want it stored as text, text. You don't want it stored as a number. This also is another uh, error. Where if you can see here, it is referring to a named uh, cell that is not there. So error uh, Excel throws another error, invalid name error. And then another such example is this uh, divide by zero error. I've tried to uh, divide by zero. So it throws this error. So in some cases, I would like these errors to be displayed because it alerts me to maybe my data is not correct. So either I can choose to ignore the error once like I did before, or I can go into the error checking options. So this opens the error, uh, the Excel options window where I can see the error checking rules. Under error checking, I can disable this if I don't want Excel to check for errors and say OK. Uh, before uh, clicking OK, these are the kind of rules. These are all the rules that Excel checks for and you can always enable or disable whatever you like and say OK. So now you see all the triangles have disappeared. So just a word of caution is that this setting is done at the application level, not at a workbook level. So the next workbook that I open and start using, uh, the error checking will not be done. So you have to use this a little carefully if you're disabling the uh, function at the application level. So this is how to ignore all errors in Excel. Please read the appended article for more information.